Management 1010 Leadership Students. Uh, you might be surprised to find me at this particular page. This is Facebook, and in the search bo box on Facebook, if you search for Phi Theta Kappa Leadership, you will probably arrive at this particular website. The textbook that we're using for our course uh, was actually developed by Phi Theta Kappa. If you're not familiar with Phi Theta Kappa, this is an honor society for community college students. It offers actually a lot of opportunities, um, you know, in regards to opening doors to scholarships and things like that. But it's an honor uh, for students who have uh, achieved a certain level. Now. Um, the reason I'm showing you this particular site on Facebook, though, is that any um, anyone who is you know logged into Facebook has the opportunity to earn an extra certificate. This is a non-credit. In other words words you're not in our particular class you're earning three credit hours but in this class um, in this online Facebook class you will be reading the exact same textbook you will be participating in discussions on the articles that you'll be reading and if you do what they ask you to do in this online leadership uh, course in Facebook you can earn a certificate now as I come down here it says the next study group cohort 10 starts in September and so this is September September, and I would encourage you to investigate this and kind of explore it a little bit. You might find that this is something um, that you are, you know, very much interested in. I know that I'm going to come up here and uh, click on like, right? But like I said, it gives you an opportunity to earn an extra certificate um, that you can put into your academic portfolio to show universities or employers uh, about your leadership accomplishment not a replacement for a, a credit class, but I think an excellent addition, and you're reading the textbook anyway. So I thought you'd like to know that. Um, also, this is week two of the semester. I thought I'd flip over to a calendar. This is just a little calendar I use when I plan the classes, quite frankly, when I plan all my classes. Um, back there in August, way back in August, you can see that classes began on Saturday. Here we are already. September the 3rd, which is Labor Day, and we are into week two of the semester. So, of course, you have um, assignments due. Now, you can make a schedule like this, and I would encourage you to do that because you have many classes and family obligations and work obligations and all kinds of things like that. So, if you put it on a master uh, calendar, you may find that you need to complete certain assignments early. This might be something that highlights that when you put it onto a calendar. But one thing that I provided you, let me make this full screen, is our class schedule. So here you were back in August, right, and it said these are the things that you need to do, and now we're, today this video is being recorded on September the 3rd, but tomorrow your first writing assignment is due, and that is for the movie 12 o'clock high. Now, there's been some questions about where to get the movies, and one thing I want to emphasize is that there are many ways that students have to watch movies. Redbox and various rental stores and Amazon rents videos and, um, you know, YouTube can be an excellent source. Hulu, um, uh, there's almost an endless stream of videos out there, but whatever channel you use or don't use, I can tell you that the movies are on reference at the library, specifically the Macon Library, however you can get them at either library. And they are on reference, and the word on reference means that you cannot remove it from the library, but you can watch it in the library, and the library even has special rooms that you can use for that, or sometimes you can watch DVDs on a computer. You could get a group together and watch it. You could certainly, in some cases, uh, you know, look at the ratings on the movie, but watch these with your family. And so 12 o'clock high is an excellent example of that. So I hope you watched it. This movie was actually one that is used in military training quite a bit. To tell you the truth, they even show it on television quite frequently. So if you keep an eye out, you might even find it there. Make sure that, you know, by the due date, uh, you get your writing assignment written and that you finish your Unit 1 quiz. As you can see, we have more work coming so this is week two of the semester and you know you're reading unit one in your book now 
we'll look at some other resources for you and, and uh, more of our scheduling. But as we talk about your writing assignment, let me take a moment to help you avoid some common pitfalls that students make. First of all, remember that your writing assignment, and as you look at the form that I give you out in the pause drop box, is, uh, is designed to tie together your reading from this first chapter um, and then observe it in, in an area where it's being applied. You know, 12 o'clock high has leaders that are of two very different leadership styles. And so make sure that your knowledge comes through in the reading. Also, I do take off points for poor spelling and poor grammar. You are college students. I find that you often know how to capitalize the letter I when you are referring to yourself right, the personal pronoun I, but when you choose not to do so, it's because you're rushing through the assignment, and so you will lose points for that, and it's kind of silly to do that. Just take a little time, make sure you do a good job. Make sure you pay attention to the assignment instructions. I just graded some work in another class, and I found that students lost points because they simply skipped a step in the assignment. Now, that can happen to the best of us. I'll tell you a little trick to avoid skipping steps and that is to print the assignment instructions and then put a little check mark next to each one when you're sure you've done it and I'll give you an example of that in a minute okay but for week two these are the things that you should be working on taking that unit one quiz and getting what what was the minimum score I hope you're all saying it maybe we need to pull up the syllabus and check Okay, I have the syllabus open, and it says that for each quiz, you have unlimited attempts, but you are required to make a minimum score of 70%, right? And that just means, you know, you are better than a D or an F student. You can earn at least a C, which is a 70%. So you want to repeat those chapter quizzes until you get the best score possible. Now, remember that once you get over a 70%, then your score score is exactly what you earn. So if you score a 72, then, you know, that's a C, right? So you can do better than that. I think every student in our class is capable of getting 100% on an open note, open book quiz where you have unlimited attempts. So do yourself a favor, do me a favor, and um, show me your best stuff and take those quizzes until you get the best score possible. Okay, so talked about the schedule a little bit and a little bit about your assignments. Let me now flip over to our class in pause. And again, consider in Facebook signing up for the Phi Theta Kappa uh, Leadership Development Program, which is an online not for credit class. Okay, and just search Facebook, just search for Phi Theta Kappa Leadership. It uses the exact same book that we're using. Okay, now I'm looking in pause, and I'm looking at our due dates. And the pause orientation quiz, I hope that you, well, we had trouble with that, didn't we? So I'm not even worried about that. But the last opportunity to go through that quiz is tonight at 11.55 p.m. I do apologize for the problems that we experienced with that. And uh, don't, I'm going to give you full points for that, as I've already said. So I won't spend any more time on that. But your Unit 1 quiz, now you do have a little bit more time on that, but remember, you know, it's September 10th is the due date at 11.55 p.m., but plan time to be able to take that quiz repeatedly to get the highest possible score. Uh, my screen looks a little different than the one that you see on your computer. What I can point out to you, though, is that 14 of your classmates have already gone out there and they've taken that quiz. In fact, as I look ahead to the Unit 2 quiz, which is currently available to you, now the due date is obviously a little ways away on September 17th, but four of your classmates said, I would rather finish finish early then finish late and they've gone out there and they've been working on it and in fact it looks like one person has already continued on to unit quiz three four five and six and so that is excellent so don't get behind on that make sure that you're working hard on those unit quizzes now one final note let me go over here to the drop box so here I am in the pause drop box for our course and the first thing that you see are opportunities for extra credit. Be sure you read those but 
uh, briefly what the assignment instructions say is that you need to participate in one of the service learning activities that's available from uh, by our college. There is a service learning website and I believe I give you that information. If not, just go to the main Southwest webpage and type in service learning and you'll find the contact hours for that office. And the activities really, uh, you can choose from a long list. And in fact, if you go to the office, the service learning office, or if you call them and talk to them, they can actually maybe help you find an activity that supports you know, your interest, that is, relates to your interest. I've had students tell me, you know, wow, I never realized um, that this was such an, you know, easy thing to do and how uh, excited they were to participate. And that's really just to earn some bonus points, right? Okay, so enough about the extra credit. Let me come down here to your first required writing assignment. Writing assignment number one, and I'm going to click on that link. And you see that writing assignment number two is already available to you. So again, if you're looking at working ahead, and inside this writing assignment, you'll see that I give you a link to the library's homepage. In this way, you can reserve videos. And in fact, I believe you can do most of that online, right? Now, if you scroll down, you'll see more information, but you'll also see a link uh, to WA underscore one underscore instructions. That is the Word, Microsoft Word file where I have the instructions. And so I'm going to open that up. Okay, so inside the writing assignment, I give you a little description about, in this case, 12 o'clock high. In each of these writing assignments, they follow this exact same format. Um, I'll give you some personal notes, uh, my opinion about the movie, uh, some you know, suggestions for where to find the video. And folks, let me tell you this. Um, companies change the resources, the, the movies that they provide on an ongoing basis. Um, you know, I had a couple students say to me, well, I couldn't get the movie uh, exactly from Netflix or Amazon or uh, in a may way that's convenient for me. And I do understand because I've, I've listed that in, in the instruction as some references. But you do have access to that video via the library. Now, does that take planning on your part? Yes, it does. Um, but whatever happens, however you get access to that movie, you can't just quit. And the, the due date will not be delayed because that there's an, an inconvenience for you. You know, in your job, in your career, part of being a leader, and as you study these uh, leaders that we'll study throughout the course, they overcame tremendous obstacles. I think reserving a video at the library is within your grasp, okay? So I'm going to trust you to do that. Now, here's one thing I really wanted to get to. On this first page, I talked to you about um, some instructions, and one of those instructions is how to name the file that you're going to upload to me in the Dropbox. And notice that I very specifically ask you to name it WA for writing assignment, underscore one, this is the first writing assignment, underscore first last where first indicates your first name and last indicates your last name so for example John Smith would name his file WA underscore one underscore John Smith no spacing okay don't lose points that's an easy thing to do and it helps me with my grading so you'll go through and you'll answer these questions and Watch your spelling, watch your grammar, watch your punctuation, and also give me some good answers. I really do read and grade each and every one of these, and I typically love reading them. But if you do kind of rush it or slop it out, and I hate to use that word, but some students do, then your grade typically reflects that. You are college students, and you're going to get out of this course what you put into it. In this particular leadership course, that is especially especially true we have so many different frameworks of leaders and not all leaders are the same so understanding yourself is a is is an important step into developing your leadership style so once you do this you'll save the file you know as you need to and you'll upload it into pause so make sure you're working on that that's part of our schedule of activities and you have the class schedule and we'll talk to you again very soon